Hello and welcome everyone to my video. So in today's video I'll be showing you how to use Rufus. Now, um, before we get started, if you want to know where you want to download Rufus, it is literally here. Um, so this is the web page that it will lead you to. Um, the hyperlink's here, so you click on that and it will should be able to uh, start the download for you. So the link will be in the description for that. Also, I'll be using Ubuntu today to uh, put it into my USB. So again, this is where the um, website is for that. Again, will also be in the description. So now that we got that out the way, uh, we're gonna go into Rufus. Now, you might be able to see here that it says no label. Now, sometimes it might even not might not even come up with anything, um, meaning that the USB is not being detected or whatever. Um, so what I do is I'll go to disk management. And you can see here how it says unallocated. Now, that is the USB I want to use. Uh, so this is the similar problem that you might have if it's not coming up. So what you'll do is you'll put new simple volume. So it should come up with a uh, setup wizard or whatever. Click next, next, keep clicking next. Uh, I normally put it as NTFS uh, because that's what Linux likes. So I will use it as NTFS. And just click finish. So then we'll wait for that to start allocating it. Hopefully it won't take too long. Okay, brilliant. So you can see here now that it is now detected. Um, so, yep, there we go. Awesome. So we can now just click out of that. So now that we have the device successfully detected on our program, we can now start looking for our ISO image. Now, what we need to do, we need to click select. Now here I've got two ISO images. I've got Deepin and Ubuntu. So like I said today, I'll be using Ubuntu uh, for the demonstration purpose today. Now, what we need to do next is we need to keep this as MBR. MBR is what I'm gonna keep it as because I've never had any issues with it keeping it as MBR, which is exactly what I needed to do. Uh, keep the target system as BIOS or UEFI. Uh, volume label, you, I will change that to Ubuntu so we know what the volume label is, we know the name of the USB. Uh, file system, like I said, we're going to keep it as NTFS because that's what the next likes to do it with. And that should now be it. So we'll now click start. Uh, yeah, right in, in ISO image mode. Now, obviously, I did have a prior installation uh, of Ubuntu, but I think I might have. Uh, uh, formatted that when I tried to demonstrate the uh, device manager thing. But anyway, so if you do have something in there, it will wipe anything in it. So make sure you do back things up if you do have anything important in there. So we'll click OK once you are aware of all these warnings, and we will now just wait for it to do its thing. Okay, so now we're all good and we are ready to install Linux. Okay, so now we're gonna see if the uh, Linux installation worked. Now what I'm doing now is I'm just quickly uh, spamming F2 to get into the BIOS. So you can either click delete or F2. Uh, it does depend on the motherboard, so uh, please be sure to check your manual to see what um, hotkey you need to click in order to access the BIOS. Anyway, so now that we're here, we're now just gonna go click on boot and we're gonna go all the way down. Now you see here, there's the boot option listing. Now this is the one I'm using currently for my Windows uh, installation. Uh, we're just gonna go and uh, click here, which is my uh, USB, it's called store and go. We're just gonna click on that, use that as our uh, initial boot drive. Uh, we're gonna now click F10 to save all changes. We're gonna click okay. Now the purpose is I'm not going to go into too much depth. I'm not actually going to show how to do the installation as such, but I do want to check to see, and, and for the sake of this video, to see whether uh, it, it is working correctly. And that is what I will be demonstrating right now. Okay, so it's now coming up in like a purpley kind of splash screen with the Ubuntu loading 
anything in the front as well. Okay, so we're now loaded in. Um, I'm gonna use the uh, English language, obviously, because that is my preferred language, and we're gonna just click Try Ubuntu. Awesome, so now we're actually in the Ubuntu operating system. You can see here that it's it's really smooth, it's really nice. Um, obviously, I haven't actually, I don't think I'm connected to any anything now. Um, but you can see it's like really smooth, it works really well. Um, Obviously, I'm not really connected to anything right now, no internet. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's really nice. It's really smooth. It works really well. And I'm really happy with the outcome and I'm glad it's uh, it's worked properly. So, yeah, I hope you uh, found this video helpful. Uh, please uh, be sure to comment any issues or comment down any issues that you that might arise. Uh, but uh, and, and I'm more than welcome to to reply to them. So yeah, uh, like I said, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found this video helpful and uh, I shall see you in the next video.